Can we pick it up? Oh, man. One time use, huh? Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue working on uh, advancing with steel production stuff that we need and some research, and because uh, that's going to open up the door to some other things. Before we get started, though, if you would like to be a member of the awesome old guy gaming community, you can find the Discord link down in the description of the video and also in the About section of the YouTube channel. Be aware that I do a live stream a few times a week, and uh, the best thing to do is join up on the Discord to see uh, when those live streams will occur. I will announce them there. Uh, my schedule is somewhat fluid. Uh, I do try and be somewhat consistent with the live streams, but they're not always on the same day every week. All right, let's get started here. So uh, it's been, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes since I left you guys in the last episode. I just let the game run. And we got uh, a nice little supply of pipes now. So let's grab, uh, I'll say three stacks of those. And we also have um, a nice little supply of steel beams. So let's grab some of those as well. And we'll head back. And we'll be able to complete Milestone 3, Logistics Mark 3, I'm, I mean, sorry. And then from there, we're going to see what the next thing is uh, we need to do. Okay, so let's go down here and load her up. So we need some of those, and some of those, and some of these. And here we go. Oh. It didn't do the little fist punch Milestone thing. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. As well as the ability to use excess power and batteries. Come on, Ada. Get with the picture here. <laughs> okay. So, that milestone is finally accomplished. Yay us. So, uh, now, what we want to do next is we want to go back to Tier 4. And we want to do advanced steel production because I need encased industrial beams for a couple of different things. And I also want to get the Mark II miners going. So let's select this as our milestone. Uh, we are going to have to wait for the pod to return, however. But we have everything we need to get rocking and rolling on that one, too. So let's take a look at um, the MAM here. I want to go to quartz. What I'm, uh, I'm sorry, not quartz, uh, sulfur. What I'm interested in is these two items here. Uh, the Nobelisk detonator and the... Uh, Nautilus explosives. Uh, this is the item that's basically going to allow us to blow up the, uh, the, you know, the stuff that's being blocked. There's several slugs and the other Caterium node and places like that that we need to blow up. Now we can actually do this one right now. We just need some black powder. So let's go over here and grab some black powder from here. But I don't think we can use the Nautilus without the detonator because it's kind of like a Where's it at? Yeah, I believe it needs the detonator for us to actually use it. Okay, so we've got that uh, researched. And so we just need to get 10 in case plates, and we can't do that until we get advanced steel going. And then we should, hopefully we'll have everything we need just, just to make those in here, because we only need 10 so we can get that rolling. And we also need an, an additional four to go unlock that hard drive that's off yonder in the distance there. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, um, let's take a look at what we need to do to get some AI limiters going so we can then make some smart uh, splitters. So I'm holding this row of stuff here for the second Caterium production line that we'll get once we can get that... Um, that node unlocked. So what we might do is set up an assembler here and maybe have it point this direction and put it right in the center there. This is all backed up because yeah that's completely full and it should be actually just moving it straight on through. Oh, it's because this is, yeah, that's backed up too. So what is this taking in? That's taking in 12 per minute. This is outputting uh, 15 per minute. So that's why we have just a little bit of a backup there. Um, well, I'll tell you what, I will, 
I'll deal with that once we get the second line set up and we'll make it as efficient as we can. I guess what we could do for the moment is we could just um, down clock this to 12 per minute. There. Okay. So that fixes that problem. Um, okay. So what we want to do here is we want to go to AI limiters and that's going to require copper sheeting and quick wire. Okay, so we have a bunch of copper sheeting over here. We're just going to have to figure out the most efficient way to route it over here. Um, and that being the case, we might actually want to turn this the other direction now that I think about it. Uh, so let's flip this around this way. We'll put it right in the center right there. And what we could do... What we could do for the time being is just take this line here, because we've got a full thing of wire. Um, and instead, let's run this line in over to here. Um, is that? Yeah, that's clipping. That's a clipping away. We don't like that. So, no, don't go into there. Come, I guess it's gonna have to come to there. This is again, temporary. I'm not gonna keep it this way, but it's just to kind of get this started here. Let's move this a little closer. So we'll put the assembler around there, curve around there. Let's try it right there and see what happens. Okay, we'll bring this down here. And look at, oop, look at that. Nice 90 degree right on in there. Okay, well let's set this to AI limiters. I'm gonna give five per minute. Takes in a hundred quick wire, uh, quick wire per minute. Uh, what is this outputting? 60 per minute. Okay, so yeah, again, I'll, I'll get that all balanced out once we get the, the full Caterium production going, which we need the Nobilis for in order to, to access. So right now, we're, we're, this isn't going to be efficient. We're just going to get it going so we, we have some AI limiters. Uh, but ultimately, what I want to do is I want to produce these at 100% efficiency and then feed the majority of them into the awesome sink, you know, so that we can get... Uh, we can get good points for those. Okay, let's come back over here now and let's see what is going on with our copper sheeting. I've been feeding that into into the awesome sink. Okay. Oh wait, did we check all the way at the top here? All right. So why don't we divert that from the awesome sink and instead send it over this way? This is actually not doing anything at all. It's just there. Uh, it's just sitting there for me to use. So I'm going to grab a stack of it so we can kind of prime the... In fact, let's do that right now. We'll prime the assembler so it can get going. Um, here, let's also... Well, it's got the wire coming in, but we've got so much extra at the moment. Grab a stack of this too. Okay, and then uh, we need to get some power here. So, best place to grab that's probably going to be off of this wall. Uh, that line is maxed out. So let's see here. What I think I'm going to do is take this off and take this. It's going all the way down there. Okay. Oh, actually, what about this one here? That 
That one's got one more line on. Okay, so let's pull this one back here. And we'll put it on that connection there. And then this one can go here to here. And that one can go there to there. And then we should be able to reconnect this here. Okay, so we got the power taken care of. Okay, so you'll output five per minute. Um, I'm assuming it'll probably hold a hundred in its queue. Well, here, let's just let's just put a box in place. There's no reason not to. Um, we want that lined up with there, and we'll line it up with that one just because we can. And again, all temporary, not permanent setup, uh, but it'll get us going. Okay, now what we have to do is get the copper sheeting over here. So what I want to do is come over to here. And let's pull up these foundations. Okay, um... How much room do I have over on this side? I have a little bit of room. All right, you know what? Instead of doing that, let's put this back here. I'm going to disconnect this and just run everything back through like normal. I'll leave that in place in case we want to use it again later on, which we probably will. And so that should be now looping down back into here and refilling this three four yeah it is okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to get a conveyor lift hole and we're going to put it right here and we're going to have to um, here let's get a lift into there first. And I'm thinking we should be able to just run that as a straight line all the way down to here and then we'll curve it into there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is remove these foundations Temporarily. I want to make sure I don't hit the space elevator. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. No, I'm pulling the wrong ones up, aren't I? Or am I? No, those are the right ones. Okay, here, let's work from this side. We don't necessarily have to pull everything up, but we just need to pull up enough to see what we're doing here. All right, let's see if that's good enough to make it all work. Now, we're going to come back to here, and we're going to have to pull this up so we can, again, see. Let's get a lift and send it this way. Um, now, we might... I think we're going to probably run into that concrete line. So if that's the case, we're going to have to lower this down a bit. Let me just see what it does. Yeah, it's going to run right into there. Okay, not a problem. Uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to attach this here. And let's go down one, two, three, four. That should work. We'll get it all underneath. All right, now the next thing we want to do is we want to see how far we can go before this turns red. So right about to here, okay? So we're going to go vertical mode and go down to there, get rid of these two, and run this line from 
here to here. Um, hmm, I can't really tell what's straight though. I think it's. Right, let's go back and look at this for a second. Well, you know the way to actually tell is just to do this. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Get rid of these. Oh, uh, do we need to go down one more? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Okay, so let's grab this again. Attach to there. And we want to bring it down to here. I think we want it right there. Nope, that's too low. All right, here, let's do this. That way we know for sure. I'm working harder than I need to. No. Keep going now. Okay, grab this. There we go. Okay, and this line is like right on the very edge of that foundation. This one needs to go down uh, one more too. Oh, we're actually hitting the ground there. Okay, that's fine. That is not a problem. Okay, very edge of the foundation. And that should be straight, and it doesn't look like it's clipping through anything. Okay, I think we're good. Now what we want to do here is... Uh, we better see how far that's going to actually reach don't think it's going to get all the way over here. Nope, it's not. Okay, so right to... Uh, we'll just say right to about here. Okay. Vertical down four. Get these three out of the way. Run the line to right there. I canceled it too soon, man. Can't take me anywhere. There we go. All right, now all we need to do at this point is uh, go back to Zooper. Super, Zooper, Duper. To here. Let's get rid of that. Um, actually, no, we have to keep that there for a second. Because we've got to put in conveyor lift hole and we want that to be right uh, that's good okay now we can take this out okay let's put a thing there and then Run that over there temporarily. And then run that down to there. Beautiful. Okay. Run this to here. Surprise it's not lining up with that. And then move it back to, or we should be able to just use the mouse wheel and do this. Uh, did that work? No. <laughs> We're back one thing too far. Let's try that again. We need it to go... Uh, okay, the mouse wheel thing's not...
cooperating because... Oh, maybe it's because that thing was in the way. Let's try it again. And then move it there. And one more this way. That should be good. Uh, we like it. We absolutely like it. It's beautiful. Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, now all we really need to do is just clean up all these temporary foundations that we laid down there and put everything back. I might actually leave that there just so it has a, a support. We could go down and, and put one of the concrete pillars down later if we wanted to. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. And, uh, yeah, that and that needs to go away. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah. Okay, we are in business here. So we are now producing AI limiters. It's a beautiful thing. Didn't leave myself a lot of room to get through there, but that's okay. And we already have 41. Look at that. Hot damn. Okay, so let's go back to the MAM for a second. Actually, we need to do our next milestone. Um, and I think I need... We need to get some more rotors. Do I have any rotors in here? I do. I do, but not enough. Okay. Go back to our rotor production line and grab some of those. Let's grab like maybe three stacks. Okay, advanced steel production. We need pipes and we need rotors and we need copper wire and concrete. What are we short? Oh, copper wire. There we go. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. Isn't that what she said the last time for the... confused. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that's what she told us for Logistics Mark 3 because that's where you get the extra power. I think that's I think that's bugged. I think that's bugged. Okay, well, no, nonetheless, uh, we now have the ability to make all of this really cool advanced stuff. Automated wiring we're going to need, of course, for the space elevator and we'll be able to make the structural beam thingamadoodles uh, also in Mark II miners and encased industrial beams. So, let's do that first. Encased industrial beams requires that stuff, and we need 10 for that research, and we need 4 for the hard drive. We're going to need a lot more than that, of course, in the long run, but let's just make 14 to start with. Beautiful. All right, let's go over to the MAM. Go to uh, Sulfur. And we need to make five uh, detector thingamadoodles. Object scanners. What are we going to need for that? Batons. So we need three batons. We need to make 15. Well, we have three on us already. So we need to make 12 more. Or beacons, I'm sorry. 12 more of these. Now we should be able to make five object scanners. All 
All right, back to here. Get sulfur and can't afford. I'm shy just a couple of cables. Oh, uh, what's going on with cables? We've got a full bin of them here. Oh, I was feeding those into the awesome sink and then they, they ran out, so I cut it off so it could fill back up. It looks like it's just about, yeah, it's about full, so we could actually plug that back in for now. Uh, let's make sure it's flowing. Oh yeah, we got to put one of these on too. Did that connect? Oh, no. That's not what we want to have happen. Can I get it to connect to there? Got to turn it the other way. I can't really see what's going on here because it's... There. Did that work? There it goes. We got cables. Okay. Back to the man, ma'am. Sulfur. Novelisk. Three minutes to research that. Now, we can also do the rifle, but the, uh, we, need, we need to get circuit boards going, and we need rubber to actually make the cartridges. So that's still a little ways out. Uh, we could do an inflated pocket dimension, and I'm not sure what this is, but this would be actually quite easy to do. What do we need? Uh, 50 gut powder. Okay, well, we have to wait for that other one to finish first anyways. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so let's see. What is next on the list? This is kind of a bit of a smorgasbord episode because we're doing a lot of different things. Let's look at milestones again. We're waiting for the pod to come back. It's going to be back in a, about five minutes. Um, we want to do hypertubes and we want to do vehicle transport. So what does hypertubes require? Oh, it's going to require 50 encased industrial. Okay, we might wait until we get the encased industrial line set up. I mean, I could make 50, but let's just do this one next because this is easy peasy mode. We got all that stuff. Uh, we will need a few more rods. Do I have any rods in here? Yeah. Okay, that should be enough to... Uh, to do vehicular transport. No, we still need a few more rods. So let's go grab those and we'll have them ready to go when the pod comes back. Let's grab a few of those. Yeah, I know stuff's, stuff is backed up over here, but I'm going to fix that with the AI. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, with the smart splitters. We might even work on that in the next episode. We'll see. Okay, so we're basically waiting for the pod to return and... Uh, we should be able to now make detonators. So let's go ahead and look in here. We make the Nobilis in here. And where is the Nobilis detonator? Oh, we're waiting for that to finish. Right. Okay, so let's make some of these. We're going to need some black powder. Let's just grab all of that. Okay, and how many of these can we make? 22. Let's make 22. Okay, MAM research is done. We should now be able to make the detonator. Fantastic. Let's go back to sulfur. And this gives us expanded tool belt, but that also takes 50 encased industrial. This let's just do right now. And we'll increase our inventory by six more slots. It'll be wonderful. It will be wonderful. Okay, let's sort our inventory. Uh, now we need to make the detonator. So that is... Do, 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 Nobilis detonator. So what do we need for that? One more encased industrial beam and five more object scanners. Okay, we should have everything to make the, the Nobilis detonator. And boom, baby, it's done. We are ready to blow stuff up. Hot 
damn. Uh, okay, so let's put that in here. And the Nautilus can go in here. Uh, oh, no, we have to put that... Wait. How do we... Oh, you know what? I'll bet you it just automatically does it with the detonator. Press R to reload. That's how we do it. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Um, one thing for everybody to be aware of, too, I am just about at the point in this game um, that I stopped at in Update 4. So I did, I do remember making a production line for encased industrial beams and some of that, but I really didn't get much further than that, and I never got far enough, obviously, to use explosives because... <laughs> I couldn't figure that one out. Uh, so pretty pretty quickly here, it's going to be new territory for all of us, which is awesome, actually. <coughs> okay, so for sulfur, uh, this is the one we need 50 in case industrials. We can't do that one until we get rubber and circuit boards. So I think we're done with sulfur for the moment. What about quartz? We could do radar technology. I'm not even sure exactly what that does, but it probably increases our map. Um, in some way. Radio signal scanning. We can't really do that until we can make motors, so that's out of reach. We're done with power slugs. Nutrients. Uh, we could do nutritional mix. No, we can't, because we need we need staters for that. Okay, so we can't do that. Micella's done. Caterium. Oh yeah, we need the smart splitter. Let's do that next. That's going to be important, because uh, my plan at the moment is for next episode to be working with smart splitters and making our original factory as uh, efficient as possible. So let's grab some of these. I'm just going to grab the whole stack for the moment. Okay, let's go back to Caterium and research smart splitters. That'll take five minutes. Um, we can't do high-speed connectors until we get plastic going. We could do power switches, and we could also do the Mark II power pulse, which I, I'll, I'll probably just do both of those off-camera. Uh, but let's get the smart splitter going. Okay, so for the rest of this episode, we are going to go out into the wild. And we're going to blow some stuff up, because I like to blow stuff up. We're also going to go... I have four encased industrial beams, so we're going to go get that other hard drive, too. Okay, so let's get our detonator out, and we just throw this, and it's kind of like a sticky bomb, and then we we get away from pe press E to pick up wood, and we right-click the mouse button, and we've unlocked a normal Kateria mode. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's go grab the hard drive since it's right up here. Then we'll go blow some more things up. Uh, where did the... Oh, here it is. Whoop. Got a little... Freezy McSqueezy there. Is that all? I thought there was three of them. I thought there was three of those dudes. Maybe not. Okay, let's get the hard drive. Uh, oh, no. This is not the right place. We need to go this way. I got a little confused there for a second. Uh, we don't want to fall down there. Oh, yeah. This was the one that was out in the lake. That's right. I see another uh, hard drive wreck this way. Let's go investigate that. Maybe we have what we need to unlock it right now. Look at that funky plant, man. It's cool. Uh, let's put these in here. Comply. We've got another thingamadoodle and I hear, oh, I think that's what I hear, is the 
Artifact. Can we shoot these plants from a distance? Ooh, we got some bad guys over there. Yeah, we can, but we just succeeded in pissing them off. So, ooh, I wonder if we can blow them up. That could be interesting. Okay, just out of curiosity. I don't think I got that close enough. I didn't. Um, can I pick it back up? Well, if I do that. That's all right. Let's try this again. Oh, no, I guess that doesn't work. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we can pick up our our other one. Get it back, at least. It's kind of like playing baseball here. Can we pick it up? Oh, man. One-time use, huh? Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not be doing that anymore. There's a motor... Just get rid of these yahoos right now. Is that all of them? I think so. Alright, grab this. Grab that. Grab this. We've got a slug up there. Any other good stuff? Uh, yeah, there's a battery. Nice. Or batteries. Some screws. I think that's it. All right, what do you need? Seven pipes. We got that. Nice. Okay. We got that hard drive. Here's uh, uh, some more batteries. Let's grab those. And I think that's it. For stuff we can loot, as far as I can tell. Let's have some bacon plant. If only bacon actually did grow as plants, wouldn't that be wonderful? Wouldn't that be wonderful? All right, let's see if we can use our superpowers to jump over there. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> not quite. Um. If we, if I jump right before we go here, oh, yes, look at that, woohoo, we barely made that, <laughs> just barely, look at those shenanigans going on over there, lots more cool stuff for us to explore, but we, we want to get to that other hard drive, so let's head on over there now, so we're going to bring back two hard drives with us, that's amazing. There's a yellow slug up there, but lots of nastiness that we have to fight to get to it, so I don't think we're going to do that right now, especially since I'm damn near out of ammo, as it is. I'm sure whatever's guarding our other hard drive is, has respawned, so we'll have to fight them off as well, but we should be able to do that okay. Here's some more Sam ore. trying to see if I have anything I don't want to we don't need to carry around yeah let's get rid of this don't what's this oh that's the samor we just picked up all right I think we're okay all right so we have to get up there I don't remember precisely how we did that last time. We're definitely not walking through there right now. There is some blockage there that needs to be exploded at some point. So let's go back around this way.
Here's some giblets that we must have left last time. Oh, that's that same blockage from the other side. All right. I guess we would remove that if we wanted to run a line through there or something at some point. But since we'd like to blow stuff up, I mean, let's do it. Why not? <laughs> okay. Can, oh, can we blow those plants up? Ooh. We're going to have to try that. Oh, there's a big, meany, nasty guy in there. Let's see if I can blow this plant up. Cause it's a son of a bitch. Oh man, really? Come on, game. What the hell? <laughs> All right, well it was worth a try, right? It was worth a try. Okay, we got to get up here. Oh, you know what? I think the last time we came here, there was just those plant things around. Right. Okay. And we actually set this down because we ran out of room. Uh, we still don't have room to take any of this back with us. Well, maybe a little bit of it. Okay, let's um, get our stuff here. Woot! All right, we have six slots. Uh, what is the most valuable? That's valuable. That's valuable. And then the rest of it's just basic, you know, basic stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we'll grab some concrete. We'll grab one stack of each and call it good. And we'll leave the rest here. Oh, uh, do we need room for this beacon? Whoops. Pick up. We got it. Because, yeah, those stack. Super. All right, yeah. So there's a there are a few things, a few areas around our base that need to be blown up that have like slugs behind them and stuff like that. So you guys uh, basically seen how it works. So I'm probably just gonna hit that stuff off camera um, and get that set up. And then the plan for the next episode is going to be that we will. I'm gonna put a couple supports on this line while I'm over here. Uh, under supports the plan will be that we'll get our smart splitters set up. Oh look um, There's some there's a slug right there that we could blow up Can you get up here homie Okay There we go Oh, I gotta make some more ammo too. Do I have enough to do one more shot? Beautiful. Okay, that's it. No more, no more ammo. All right, let's get the slug. Whoop. Grab the giblets from these guys. Uh, where are the giblets from those guys? Oh, do you do we lose them if we kill them in the water? Oh no, right there. There's one, and the other one I think is right here. Okay, Whoop, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There we go. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you go here. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna set up a couple supports on this line here. Head back to the base, blow a few more things up to get a few more slugs that are you know locked up behind them. And then we will get ready for smart splitters and making our original factory more efficient in the next episode. And then after that, we're going to get into advanced industrial, or not industrial, advanced steel production. Um, so that's coming up in the next two to three episodes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.